Hey everybody, welcome to Mayhem, or welcome back if this isn't your first time here. Um, I had a request from a viewer who wanted me to do a tutorial using Silhouette Studio showing how to fill in text with a photo. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I am using a Windows laptop computer and I am using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So if you have Basic Edition or Designer Edition, your setup may look a little bit different than mine. But we're going to do this today and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is add our text. So I'm going to come up here and choose my color. I'm just going to use black for the fill and black for the outline. I'm going to click over here on the left hand side on the text and I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm going to type the word love all in caps. Now we're going to change the font of the word to what we want. So I'm going to just hover over the E and you can see that my cursor looks like a capital I. I'm going to left click and hold and highlight all of the text. I'm going to come over here to the right hand side to my text style panel and click on that. You can choose any of the fonts that you want. We could use this spotlight. We could use graceful. We could use whatever we want, but for this I'm going to use impact because that's going to give us the most coverage. Uh, it's a thicker solid letter and we'll be able to see more of our photo using that. So now that I've chosen that, I'm just going to click on the canvas to unselect it. Then I'm going to select it again and I'm going to stretch it out to the size that I want. I'm stretching it out by pulling on the corner square. And you can also stretch it side to side by pulling on the side. You can stretch it top to bottom by pulling on the top or the bottom square. And I'm going to leave it like that. I do have my canvas set up as a 12 by 12 canvas. So now that we've got our word, we need to find a photo to use. Um, you may be using one that you've already got, but I'm going to go to a site that I like to use and it's called Pixabay. So I'm going to go out to Google and I'm going to just type in Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y and enter and that will take us there. They have 2.2 million free images to use. So you can type in and search for just about anything and find something there. So I'm going to click on that. I'm already signed in. I'm going to just type in and search for a beach picture. Now this top row of pictures is sponsored by iStock. So those are not free pictures. You would get a 20% off with Pixabay 20 coupon. But all the pictures under here are Pixabay pictures that you can choose. And so I've already been in here and, and seen what I wanted to do. So I'm going to choose this picture right here. Just click on it. And if you look over here, free download, free for commercial use, no attribution required. Please read the Pixabay license for yourself so that you are aware of what the license entitles. Okay, so I'm going to download this. Usually I just keep it at the suggested size which is typically 1920 by 1095 and then I'm going to download. Now I'm going to go over here and open. And I'm not sure your your pictures folder on your computer may be different than mine, but what I'm going to do is save this to my pictures. So I'm going to come to the three little dots, click on those and save as. 
Now, I created a different folder in my pictures titled Pixabay, and that's where I'm going to save it. And as you can see, I've already got it saved there, so I'm not going to save it again. So I'm just going to get out of that, close that out. You've already got it saved. Now we're going to go back to Silhouette Studio, and we're going to bring that picture in to fill in our text. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to File and Merge because you want that picture to come in on this same canvas, this same file tab that you're working on. If you just did Open, it would open it in a different tab. So you want to do Merge. Click on Merge, and then you're going to go find the picture. Since I was just there, mine's already where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to click on that and hit OK. It's going to bring my picture into the project that I'm working on. The first thing I want to do is click on that, right click, and send it to back. And then I'm going to grab the little square in the corner and I'm going to stretch it out some. It has to be big enough to cover our work. And then I'm just going to move it around till I figure out where I want it to be. And I can stretch it out and make it bigger. This is where you're going to determine what it is that you want to show up in your in your text. So I'm going to see what I can do about putting that sun right at the top of that O. Now, it's not enough for me to cover the bottom of the letter, so I'm going to stretch it down just a little bit to cover the letters. And as you can see, I don't have enough over here to cover the E, so I can stretch it over to where it's behind the E. Now it's moved the sun from behind my, my O. So it's really, you really just have to work with it to get it where you want it. Once you get the picture and the text where you want it, you're going to draw a rectangle around both your text and your picture so that you've got them both selected or you could click on the text, click on the picture holding shift and select them both. Then you're going to come over here to your modify panel which is the uh, rectangle with the circle. You're going to click on that and you're going to click crop. And now you have your picture inside your text. If you don't like the way the picture is looking, if you want to move it around, you want it to look different, all you have to do is hit Control Z and it will undo what you just did. And if you want to go back one time, two times, three times, just Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Control Z is your undo. And I think a lot of people don't realize that, that use Silhouette Studio. So let's say that I wanted it to look different. So now I'm just going to, oh, I need to click off of it so that they're not selected together. I'm going to click on the picture and I'm going to adjust the picture just a little bit because I wasn't really real thrilled about the way that looked. So I'm going to expand the picture a little bit. I'm going to move it around. Maybe I want the sun to be part in the O and part in the V. And I've got some palm trees. And so now I think I might try that. So now I'm going to come out. I'm going to draw a rectangle so that I select the picture and the text. I'm going to come back up here to my menu and hit crop. Yes, I like that better. I've got the sun, I've got the palm trees, I'm good to go. I'm going to zoom in though. 
so that you can see this. I've got the picture in my text, but now all of my letters are separate. So if I click off of my text, and then I just click on the L, it's by itself. I can make it bigger. I can come over here and click on the E and I can drag it out. Maybe I just want to make it wider. Maybe move it up a little bit. I can do that. And then And then I can draw a rectangle around all of them and select them. And then I hit Control G and it groups them all together. I don't know why I just all of a sudden got this guide. Sorry about that. So now they're all grouped together. And if I change one, I change them all. So your friends, we have two friends in here. Control Z is our undo. Oh, I messed up. Undo. And Control G is group. I've made a change, but I still need everything to stay together. Control G. Okay. Okay. So what if I want to put a border around this? I can do that. What I need to do is come over here on the right hand side to the offset panel, which is the star with the outline around it and click on that. You can do an offset or an internal offset. So the offset goes outside what you've got selected. The internal goes inside. So I'm going to do offset, which is on the outside. And so you can see that it's got a red line around it now for the offset. And right now the rounded corner is selected so that you can see it's rounded on each corner. But I can change it to the square one and it changes it to where it's square. I'm going to use that one. You can also change the amount or the distance of the offset right here. You can raise it or lower it. I'm going to lower it just a little bit because the offset between the V and the E are touching, and so I want it to be just a little bit less. Okay, so I'm okay with that. They're still touching a little bit, and I'm going to hit Apply. Now, right now, the offset is what is selected. So I'm going to choose the color that I want my offset to be. So I'm going to go up here to my color picker, and I'm going to choose black because I want my offset to be black. And then I'm going to choose my outline, and I want it to be black as well. I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now, if I zoom in, whoops, wrong way. If I zoom in, once again, you can see each letter has a box around it. Once again, they're separate letters now. And you could change one letter or all letters or whatever you want it to do. But I want it to stay just like that. So before I do anything else, I'm going to hit Control G. It's going to group them together. And now if I change, whoops. If I hit Control G, that's going to group the offset together. Then if I want everything grouped together, I'm going to draw a square around everything. Control G. And now it's all grouped together. And if I want to change the size on everything, I can change the size on everything. So 
So that's how you add a picture to text in Silhouette Studio to use for sublimation, for printing, whatever you need to use it for. I thank you for watching. If you will, in the comments, please let me know what tutorials you would like to see. I will be happy to make a video for anything that you're struggling with in Silhouette Studio. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. I appreciate you stopping by and watching, and please come back. I'll be uploading brand new videos. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.